Hi, welcome to the host of the Mark Podcast Show. And today is the ancient sacred sites of Wales. Molu Taya Yushasha Stone Cycle. Or M O E L T Y Y C U C H A F. With its Jurassic Christ lines and mountains. Wells is the most be- one of the most beautiful places in the world. Besides its natural beauty, Wells is a land of ghosts, dark legends and unexplained phenomena. Now it's time to shed light on the remarkable prehistoric site shrouded in mystery. There are well known stone cycles of Wells that are much smaller than in England, but they're just as mysterious. One of these significant sites is Yar Many Harari, Y-M-E-I-E-M-E-I-N-I-H-I-R-I-O-N, the Druid Circle, above the town of Penmarenmara, P-E-N-M-A-E-N-M-A-W-R, Mortayufrif, M-O-R-M-O-L, M O E L T Y U C H A F North of Ludwig Row L L A N R I O O O Den Big Osher D E N B I G H S H I R E is another fantastic site has been a must see when in the area. Bronze Age archaeological site on the slopes of Caper Benwin, Cadio Benwin, C A D E R B E R W Y N, is a famously perfect cane circle in the area so called Welsh Roswell. Incident took place on the 23rd of January 1994. Anonymous light, anonymous lights were seen both in the sky and on the mountainside and on that night and high radiation readings were later attained at stone H stone circle. The circle was set in the summit of a hill overlooking the valley of the D just south of C Y N W Y N D on the B four four O one to Larindra Dero L L A N D I D R I L L L O Parking available in the car, car park is free in the village. The site is not a sign posted, so you need to turn left from the car, from the car park, walk into the seed and wall mill and you'll be a footprint sign. Keep Left up a narrow lane past some houses. Take the road until you pass through a gate, and there you have about a mile to walk to the road, which passes through woodland before merging into open fields where sheep graze. Go through a gate, remembering to shut it firmly behind you, and keep going up the farm track. There's a fault, say to the right. Take it'll take you to another closed gate which <coughs> has a warning notice attached to it stating that this is SS one <coughs> SSI, special scientific <coughs> airstrips area. <coughs> and that a motorcycle a motor vehicle is prepared to go on this point. <coughs> a dog's barking in the background, sorry about that. <coughs> Location of the stone cycle. Mol <coughs> case you you highest house on a bare <coughs> hill. It's a stone cycle roughly 12 metres in diameter, <coughs> consisting of approximately 40 stones, <coughs> all around 1 metre in height. It's situated at <coughs> the top of a, ha- a hill along the edge of the Benwin Mountains, with spectacular views stretching out towards Lodo Lido over the River Dee. The Benwin Mountains run southwest to northwest across central North Wales, Separating Shropshire from the Snowdon, Snowdonia, 
National Park. It's very beautiful, unspoilt, a relatively unknown area of upland. The isolation of this area has to offer is unforgettable. In what, in what, when you access out into the main ridge of the summits, on most days you you may, you will meet very little people. Mara Sylvia is the unusual site which may have been a burial or ritual function. There have also been noise misquotes of paranormal activity happening in this area which attracts UFO enthusiasts to visit the place. Benwin Mountains have a long history of human inhabitation. Prehistoric man lived and worshipped on the mountains leaving behind a drastic rural landscape in which many strange beliefs have been attached. Local folklore tells us that these three peaks these peaks have been haunted by a multitude of aerial phenomena, including the spectral hounds of hell. By Sir South L L L L L A N R H A E D R Dash Y M O C H A H M O C H N A N T. The villages are once played by flying dragons. Contemporary, contemporary paranormal puzzles abound too. Besides UFOs, include phantom bombers, ghosts, and lake monsters. The region is also the lair of the most famous of the mysteries, the alien big cat. Welsh words well. UFO. Believers claimed aliens crash landed in the Bodrin mountain range. A government secretly moved dead extraterrestrial bodies. The government is said to have covered up the 1994's event, with scores of residents reported a massive tremor, strange lights in the sky, and secret service men in black scouring the area, being dubbed the Welsh Roswell was well after the U.S. case, in which aliens were allegedly found by authorities in the news. Mexico. In 2010, an official Ministry of Defence documents were released that many new news outlets claimed disproved any claims of UFO sightings. The official explanation, a meteorite burning up in the atmosphere, happening consolingly at the same time as a probable earthquake on the landside. This is a bit of a doozy of coincidence. Also, a large fire was actually just flashlights or posters poachers in the mountains. The events spawned a cascade of rumours, of course. However, the strange thing about the Welsh U- Roswell UFO sighting is the sheer number of inconsistencies between the official report and the witness reports, including the lo- official logs of the G-Y-N-E-D-D police, Gwyndinia police. According to the Ministry of Defence, the RFA search and what we- Search and rescue team that scrambled in response found no sign of wreckage and concluded no impact had ever occurred. Strange then that, that multiple witnesses and a police log reported a strange object hovered around the mountains when then large, then a fire, big explosion, and massive tremor on the mountainside at exact time and location of the non existent impact. It may be easy, it may have been easy, it would have been easier that. Had it had it been a crashed military plane, not necessarily an alien space script, space shot, we'll never know. Despite the best efforts to curb public expectation, speculation, the Berlin Mountains incident, Bel- Berwin Mountains incident remains a mystery to this day.